JSC GLONASS is making major efforts to advance safety, monitoring, and digitalization by fostering the development of domestic technologies for the transport sector and unmanned systems. The company's announcement of the start of production of Russia's first SIM chip, which is specifically engineered for the purpose of monitoring transport vehicles, identifying drones, and transmitting emergency SOS signals, is one of its most significant accomplishments. Compared to the conventional removable SIM card, this inventive chip is a microcircuit that is directly soldered into a device, resulting in significantly greater reliability and durability. The integration of the SIM chip into the onboard systems of cars and drones substantially reduces the risk of failure and improves protection against mechanical damage and unauthorized access. This functionality is particularly crucial in conditions of harsh weather and intensive operation. The SIM chip, which has already been registered in the Domestic Product Registry of the Ministry of Industry and Trade of Russia, represents a major milestone in the process of import substitution and the expansion of Russia's technological independence in the fields of telecommunications and navigation. This technology is employed in a diverse array of devices, including emergency contact systems, satellite navigation, and trackers that are used in passenger, freight, and unmanned aerial vehicles. The scope of the project and the readiness for mass industrial production are demonstrated by the production of over 500,000 such chips since the summer of 2025. Assembly is handled by the specialized company Plastim, and testing and certification were conducted in collaboration with prominent Russian navigation equipment manufacturers, including Three Points, Itelma, Fort Telecom, and Santel Navigation to guarantee the product's functional integration and broad compatibility with contemporary systems. Alexei Rykovich, the CEO of JSC GLONASS, observed that approximately 60 million vehicles are in operation in Russia, with over 12.8 million of them already equipped with the ERA GLONASS emergency response system. The new SIM chip presents an opportunity to provide the remaining fleet with modern and dependable navigation and communication equipment, thereby significantly increasing system coverage and enhancing road safety. This feature is particularly crucial for the rapid response to incidents and the implementation of state digital infrastructure programs, as well as the development of smart cities. The SIM chip's design is a unique characteristic that necessitates soldering into the electronic modules of vehicles, thereby preventing the accidental or deliberate removal that is a hallmark of classic SIM cards. This method improves the reliability and longevity of devices and reduces the vulnerability of the processors to harsh conditions, such as those found in drone systems, special machinery, and vehicles that operate in challenging climates. The project's importance from both a technical and economic standpoint is underscored by the fact that there are no analogs on the Russian market at present. Although the exact investments in R&D and production setup are not publicly disclosed, industry experts predict that the costs will fall within the range of 1 to 1.5 billion rubles, which is indicative of the magnitude of this strategic initiative. Furthermore, JSC GLONASS plans to launch Russia's first specialized service center in 2026, offering maintenance services for light aviation and unmanned aerial vehicles. This facility, which is in the Kaluga region, will serve as the primary platform for the comprehensive equipping of drones within the Unified Identification System, which is based on the State Information System ERA GLONASS. Reflecting the increasing demand for safety enhancements and digitization in a variety of transportation modes, the service center will be able to service well over 2,000 drones annually, as well as approximately 1,500 units of public transportation and specialized machinery. The center will offer a modern, all-in-one service that enhances control and monitoring by adding satellite navigation, tachographs, and communication tools based on ERA GLONASS to transport vehicles, according to Vitaly Durkak, Director of Sales at JSC GLONASS. This technical foundation is essential for the safe and efficient operation of conveyance systems in various sectors 
including agriculture, construction, and forestry, and it is designed to address modern challenges. As demonstrated by regional government endorsement, Kaluga was selected for its infrastructure and technological proficiency. Dmitry Razumovsky, the deputy governor, underscored that the center will be a significant catalyst for the advancement of digital technology and will encourage collaboration among commercial enterprises, supervisory agencies, and regional authorities. In the long term, the JSC GLONASS Service Center will serve as a universal platform for the deployment of technologies and the operation of ERA GLONASS infrastructure throughout Russia, thereby establishing a unified system for the security and monitoring of drones and other forms of transportation. This will encourage the development of innovative digital transport solutions and facilitate the efficient exchange of data and operational control. In the end, opening the center will mark a significant change in how Russia's transportation system goes digital, strengthen local satellite navigation and communication technologies, and help the country become more self-sufficient and reduce reliance on imports. So, the plan to create a modern, safe, and efficient transportation system involves developing local SIM chip production and setting up a high-tech service center for drones and light aircraft. At the same time, these JSC GLONASS initiatives substantially increase the opportunities for monitoring, managing, and servicing vehicles and UAVs, all while fostering digital industry transformation and innovation-based economic growth in Russia. Consequently, they will improve the safety and mobility of Russian transportation on a national and international scale. If you like this video, please like, share, and subscribe. Also, please take our channel membership, which is very affordable, to encourage us.